Talking about the control side of things, Sean, I noticed that we have two sets of photoelectric eyes on this brush. Can you walk me through why we have two sets? Yeah. So we have two sets of photo eyes. One is to activate the sonar sensor that's at the top of, of the equipment on the frame. And then you also have a high hood set of photo eyes. So when that beam breaks, it lets us know that there's a larger vehicle that's about to approach the brush. It activates that little four inch cylinder we were talking about earlier, just to make sure it's away from that, that, that grill. All right, so as far as maintenance go on the photoelectric guys, I'm, we're just keeping them clean, making sure that we still got a strong signal. Can we go into that box and check the signal of the photoelectric guys? You can, you can. And like you said, daily on your daily walkthrough, just make sure you take a look at this, make sure everything's clean. And then in the side, make sure there's no errors, that air LED lit up, make sure that's not there. If you have to give it a quick test, hit the reset slash test button. Right. And you'll be looking for about seven pulses. Up seven there. to 10. Seven to 10, lets you know that it's, it's running properly. Gotcha. We got our sonar detector up here. Correct. Right, so we're just detecting pickup truck beds, anything else with that? So or? we're actually profiling the entire vehicle. Are we? So we're also looking for that high hood with it, so we are able to verify that. We're verifying where that windshield starts, ends. We're taking a look at how high the roof is, and we're also looking for our open truck beds just to understand what's going on. Another great point to, to touch on is if any of these photo eyes do go down, you are able to bypass them and rely a little bit more on your sonar. We don't necessarily recommend running it that way. Right. However, if you have to stay up and running, keeping cars processed through your tunnel, you are able to do that until you get your photo eyes fixed and figured out. So that's kind of like akin to running on a simulated pulse on your controls for, for everything in the wash. So Sean, on our busier days, if we start to notice the materials getting a little bit damp or something, maybe we don't want to wipe 1,500 cars or whatever it is. Is there, is there something we can do? Uh, to where we're not doing the whole vehicle now, we're just we're going to do the hood and maybe the, and the glass? There is. The controls team, in conjunction with, with engineering, as they were working on these prototypes and alpha tested, beta testing, they realized there is a need just to wipe the hood and the windshield. We're calling that the turbo mode. So you can ask an employee to go into the back room, go into the controls. Everything else is locked. The user parameters are locked. However, you are able to activate that turbo mode. You don't need a manager to do it. Oh, cool. It's just a button on a... Just a button right on the HMI. says, hey, activate this. We're busy. We only want to wipe certain parts of the car. We're going to wipe the hood and the glass and retract. Yep. That's a cool thing. That's a beautiful thing. What else do I need to know about the control side of things? Uh, we did discuss on the daily basis, taking a look at making sure these are clean. On the weekly basis, you're going to want to go into your controls on the HMI, verify that your sonar is running properly make sure there's no alarms on there for that, and making sure that your distance is, is making sense, that it's not jumping all over the place when there's no vehicles under there. Um, and then on the monthly basis, you wanna get a ladder, get up on top, making sure that that light, the LED light, the activation LED light is, is on the sonar and running properly. All right, cool. I think we should take a look at that control box and we can walk through those, those items that you just discussed so they know what we're talking about. Yeah, love to. All right, cool. All right, Sean, we're over here at the controls box. Now, if I order this whole unit from Sunny's, it's going to arrive like this. This box comes like this, already pre-programmed. There's nothing really we have to do other than wire it, correct? There's nothing in it, and you can get in different voltages depending on your site. Okay. So that's another great feature. But it, if one of my employees comes up here and starts pressing buttons, right, what happens? You don't have to worry about anything. It's all pa password protected. So manager will have it, owner, whoever you want to have that, that information, right? So they can plug in their username, password, then make those changes. Okay. The only thing that the attendant will be able to, to activate or disable is that turbo mode. Okay. That's if you just want to wipe the hood and windshield. But that's all he's got access to? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. So what else can I see on this main screen? Is there buttons I press and I get all kinds of readouts and different information? Or You don't even have to go that far. Okay. So on the main screen, that home screen, you're going to be able to see whether or not your sonar is reading at what height that vehicle is right on here on the main screen, whether or not the, there's an open truck bed currently going on, high hood. You're also able to see your vehicle length and whether or not this has been connected to your conveyor interlock, right? So there's some safety features in there as well. Okay. So if it's not communicating or having that communication, it won't run. So we're spinning this all the time when the conveyor's run. Correct. Just for the drying aspect of it. Correct. Now there's two speeds, right? There's the drying speed and then there's also the retracted speed. Which, why, why do we do that? There is. 
So we're doing a little bit slower of a speed to get good contact on that vehicle. And then when it's not in contact with the vehicle, it goes up into that retract position, ramps up those R RPMs, just to help that material throw any water off or, or dry up a little bit quicker. Okay. Now, do I get to see my RPMs in my brush? Is, it, is the VFD being read here on this main screen somewhere? You can. There is a built-in VFD into these controls, so it's not something you have to worry about once you order this piece of equipment. And you can make those adjustments all through here. So you can see the speed that it's running at. And if you want to tweak it, if you're one of those people who likes to play with things and, and really try to get the most out of your equipment, you are able to make those adjustments as well. So is there a way that I can just walk in my back room in the morning, take a look at this box, and know everything's ready to go? I don't have to go through every single function or, or anything on it? You can. As we mentioned, safety was, was a big concern of ours. So we do have a systems checklist in right. here. It's just a notepad that you can see at the bottom of the page. If it's green, it means all systems are go. If it's red, then you know there may be something going on there. You can click on it for more details, see every system it's taken a look at to verify that it's, that's communicating properly. Um, and it'll give you an idea if there is an issue, where to look, uh, and, and if you have to call tech support what questions to ask. Okay, so I can walk in, everything's green, I'm ready to wash cars. You're good to go. You are able to go into your alarms and see if there's been any issues, any alarms that popped up in the past. It logs somewhere around 50 different, or 50 alarms total and gives you a date stamp uh, and time. So if you want to, you can go back into your cameras and see exactly what might have happened. Oh, cool, so I can go find out what time of day it happened, I can go back, check my cameras, see if it got stuck on a roof rack or something and retract it, I got you. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's really slick. So to me, it sounds like this box is optimizing this material, and yet this material is optimizing this box at the same time. Am I right? It is. It is. And that was one of our design requirements, to make sure that the material and controls work together to give you the best performance possible. So a lot of the thresholds and settings have been designed and set according to how this material reacts to your car. So if you do try a different material that isn't approved by Sunnies or recommended by Sunnies, you could potentially run into some issues. What else do I need to know as far as all this goes, whether it be cloth, daily, weekly, monthly maintenance, controls, or anything else? So safety was a top priority when we were coming up with this new piece of equipment to put into our portfolio. And I think the perfect example of that is our smart snag um, technology. And what that's doing is it's reading that motor, getting feedback from that motor to make sure that if it gets caught on something, comes in contact with a brush guard, light bar, roof rack, whatever it might be, that'll stop the brush and go into a retract position to make sure it keeps your customers happy and safe. Fair enough. John, I appreciate your time. It's a great piece of material. I think it's a, it's a great addition to the Sunday's arsenal, and I appreciate you coming over today and explaining it to me. Thank you, Bob. That's all for now. As always, good luck and good washing.